Hey guys, so I am back for another foot through. This one is book number 14 and I wasn't quite sure about it in the beginning. Uh, I knew what paper pack I wanted to use and usually how I make my books is I do the covers first, the color and everything like that. Then I pick the paper out. Well, this time I picked the paper out first and this paper pack is the Communicate Paper Pack by Graphic 45 and it's gorgeous, but it doesn't have a lot of color in it. It's basically black, beige, and red. So those are my options for the, the cover. And so I thought, I'm going to do red. That sounds like a good idea. But it was, it was definitely, red is a very hard color to make look vintage without it turning pink. I figured it out. So <laughs> this is the finished product and I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with it. And it is a nine by six. It's got seven signatures. The spine here with the ridges and the back. So let's open it up. Mind frame here? Maybe, maybe not. All right. So closure as always is Sorry Silk. And I found this awesome ribbon, which looks like a film strip, which was perfect for the paper pack. So let's open. Here we go. So on the inside, as always, if you guys haven't seen my videos, I always have a hello letter in the front because that's how I do my journaling. I always put a hello letter in the front, goodbye letter in the back. So here we have three bands. And as you can see, a couple of pieces of ephemera in each one. So here we go. Let's take those out. It's just a couple pieces and you don't need them in there. I just like them because I can use them within the uh, the journal. And then here is the hello letter, which is just parchment paper distressed along the edges. And even without it, it looks cute still. But you just can kind of throw that back in there and I'll do that later. And here's a couple more pieces of ephemera. This came from the paper pack, so I decided to use it. And they just go right in here. I always do a lace pocket. Just gorgeous paper. I love, I love graphic 45 paper, really. I don't think there's a paper pack out there that I don't enjoy. And it's actually really good paper, too. They're not paying me to say that. I really just enjoy their paper. And what's really cool too is if you're if you're distressing because I distress all the edges and you know you're sewing it through it actually takes you know getting you get you put the holes in it it doesn't rip it's just really good paper and I pretty much again if you haven't seen any of my videos I leave the signatures fairly blank because I don't know how people are going to use them Maybe they might use it for scrapbooking or just journaling, maybe just writing. Maybe they want to put pictures in, but I leave them blank. And then that way people can fill them up however they want. Some more ephemera there. And I, I also like to add just a couple pieces and then that way you can washi tape them in if you want to use them. Or if not, you can just keep them in the pocket in the front because they look pretty. So pretty much all of my signatures look like this. I like continuity. Uh, that's just how my brain works. I like things to look even. As you can see, the lace kind of all lines up. And I know that maybe that's not typical in junk journaling. However, the way I see it is, and the way that I journal myself, is I like kind of a clean start, a fresh start like this. And then I'm gonna throw all the junk in. I'm going to put all of the stuff in myself. And then by the end, when you're done with it, it will look like a junk journal. So that's kind of just how I see it. And also I think it's just what you make it. I mean, it's really just semantics, the wordplay. Art is art, it's what you make it. Let's just kind of 
do the flip through like that. Otherwise, this will be a very long video. There's another pocket here. You can put whatever you want in there. Back. There's some more pieces. That's the paper. And again, this is Communique Paper Pack by Graphic 45. And then all this paper inside is coffee dyed. Some of it's distressed. Stationary, parchment paper. Some of it's just copy paper. And in the back here is my tag. And I put a little pocket here with just a couple of these cute little cards. You can just kind of stick those in there. And then in the back, my goodbye letter. And I actually wanted to try my laminator, so I made a little bookmark with some scraps from the paper that you can use while journaling. And then this is the goodbye letter. And you kind of have to, just because it's not, you just have to wiggle that a little bit. And it goes in pretty smoothly. And then here is another little pocket here. And I just put the bookmark in there for now. So that's it, guys. Hope you like it. Look at that lace. So pretty. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope everyone is having a good day or a good night or a good afternoon. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching.